Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of my, of my new vlog. I've been trying to vlog on a more consistent basis, fooling around. If you see my last few episodes, you probably saw me making a lot of mistakes. Uh, in my last one, I was trying to do it with my, uh, my GoPro. It didn't work out. I mean, it was okay, just that uh, the colors were I didn't like the colors at all. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm back using the, uh, the Sony a7R here. And uh, I got it hooked up to my 10 to 15 lens. And, but I have everything set on manual. So what I did was before I left, I had to set the shutter to uh, 150. I got the frame rate set to 24. And I got the ISO set to 100. And normally in a sunny day like this, this would blow out the uh, all the well, it'll blow out the, the image. So I have an ND filter on there to sunglasses for for the lens. I get ND filter on there to bring everything back to normal, and hopefully this works out. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is uh, I am walking. I'm taking a walk around my lake. This here is the uh, the lake. Uh, basically, this is this is my neighborhood. I live in the South Lake, and there's two lakes in this neighborhood. It's called Woodbridge. And this is the South Lake. There's also one in the North, North Lake. So uh, usually what I do is every day I would take a walk. I would walk on the South Lake, walk to the North Lake, or around the North Lake and back home. It's about 3.2 miles. It takes about an hour, but it's good exercise. And it's something I do every single day because it's part of my routine. So come on, I'll show you around. Let's go. Woo! Man, those guys don't scare easy. Come on. <laughs> Yep, that's right. The big bad John is not scaring them. This is also a dog path. Uh, I walk Sally's dog every day, and these are lifesavers. Literally, lifesavers. You may notice that I'm the only one walking this trail. This is because it's a Monday, and it's uh, 9 a.m., and everyone else is at work. So I have this whole village to myself practically. One of the curse of the dot com lifestyle, I guess. Behind me is the bridge that allows me to cross the lake. Um, and it's also the reason this village is named Woodbridge because it's a wooden bridge. There's one on the South Lake and there's also one on the North Lake. So I guess the, uh, the city planners weren't very creative when they came up with the name of this place. I believe Woodbridge has a total of 16 tennis courts. Yeah, I haven't booked one court yet, but Sally has. She likes to play tennis. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, doggy. Good morning. 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 Most of the time, I would be like those bikers and go for a bike ride in the morning. I would ride for like about 23 miles, but lately I just, I just like walking. I don't know why. Like those people. Who knows, maybe one day I'll join a walking club. I like to keep the camera on all the time when I'm vlogging, just so I can capture anything that just shows up. The only problem with that is that uh, these, this A7R2 camera, the battery life, well, it sucks. 45 minutes or one hour, and then it, it's done, it's done. So I always gotta make sure I carry an additional battery with me, you know, otherwise uh, my vlog will abruptly end. Besides the bridge, the other feature of the lake it's a gazebo behind me. Both the North Lake and the South Lake has one. This is the uh, gazebo in the South Lake. And this is the gazebo at the North Lake. This is a good demonstration of the uh, 24p video of the Sony a7R2. Right now I have it set for 24p with a 50 shutter. And that is the ideal setup to achieve that film look. And so when you're looking at this um, water fountain, 
you should see a nice film look to the water, the way it's flowing to the top and drifting. It's got a nice motion blur. That's what it's known as in the motion picture industry. If you were to try that with an iPhone camera or normal compact, it wouldn't have this film look to it. So that's one of the advantages of going to a high-end digital SLR or professional video setup. This is Alton Parkway. It is one of the two main streets that bisects uh, Woodbridge. Not very busy right now. The neat thing about this street is that uh, even though it's just a regular city street, the speed limit is 50 miles an hour. Tomorrow is the election voting day, but by the time you get this vlog, election will probably be over and you wouldn't know who the winner is. And you know, I, on my Facebook feed, I've been seeing pro-Trump, pro-Hillary, blah, blah, blah. They're saying that if Trump wins, the economy will crash, the jobs will dissipate. If Hillary wins, we'll be, whatever. <laughs> here's, a, here's, a, here's a thing. The president has almost zero influence over the economy. I mean, we like to, he likes to think he has, or people like to pretend he has, but the truth of the matter is, he has actually almost zero influence over the economy. And the person that does control the economy, well, she does not have to answer to the president. So frankly, I don't really care who wins the elections tomorrow, I will do well no matter who wins, because I take my life into my own hands. I don't let some president decide it for me. You should, you should do the same thing. In California, we use an umbrella to block us from the sun, not just the rain. So far, I have exhausted one battery on the A7R2. The good news is the, uh, the batteries on the Sennheiser are going strong. So uh, I may have to look for another battery solution for my Sony A7. In case you're wondering if California is really under a drought, here's your answer. Estimate is we have about a year of water left. And then after that, I'll probably have to move. I walk by this bakery almost every single day on my walk, and I have never stepped inside. One of these days, I will. Right after filming that little spot at the Champagne Bakery, a, a lady from the uh, shopping center security came up to me and said, you can't film here. And uh, I just went, oh, okay, no problem. I didn't know, my apologies, sorry. I just walked away, you know. Uh, Ideally, you're supposed to get permission when you step onto private property like a mall or shopping center. You're supposed to get permission to film at their location. But uh, I always say it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. This is Barranca Parkway, the other major street that bisects uh, Woodbridge. As you can see, it's not that busy either. It also has a 50 miles an hour speed limit. This is the North Lake. I haven't decided which lake looks better yet. By the way, I almost forgot to tell you, these lakes, they're man-made. They're not natural. It was constructed. These lake front houses are pretty cool. Houses are way too small, however, and they're really townhouses. They look like a duplex. In addition to the wooden bridge, the gazebo, each lake also has a beach club. I prefer the beach club at the South Lake. Walking across the wooden bridge on the North Lake. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Woodbridge, the North Lake and the South Lake. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time showing it to you. So uh, until next time, I'll see you guys on the next episode. You know, uh, <laughs> I've been checking out some other vlogs on YouTube and I kind of concluded that vlogging is YouTube's reality TV. So yeah, that, that's my conclusion. So welcome to my reality. If you like it, then consider subscribing and liking it. And I will see you guys on the next episode.